Hey guys. So today's video, we're gonna take a quick look at the extruder setup on the H2D. And this follows a blockage I had at the weekend where filament started appearing out of the extruder here above the nozzle. And I wasn't fully sure why, but I took it apart and subsequently found out. And it was only really noticed after I had swapped to the right hand nozzle and I had a jam in here in the gear, so I had to take it apart anyway. But essentially, there's a little tube that connects. You see this little slider here? This here has a metal tube that connects the top of the nozzle to this plastic floating piece. And as the nozzle, it's only the left-hand nozzle on the H2D that goes up and down. So this piece is supposed to keep that pipe in contact with the top of the nozzle so that the filament has a direct path into the nozzle. In my case, the ABS had managed to, I don't know, heat creep or something up through the metal pipe and had jammed this piece in an upward position. So there was a gap of about 15, 20 mil where the, the tube basically wasn't in contact with the nozzle. So it was able to feed this filament out. So in today's video, we're going to take a quick look at dismantling this to show how this operates and hopefully it'll help people with similar situations down the line. This is the piece of filament that was stuck. You see it there? It was stuck on this side here. So I'll show when I had this apart again where it was. All right, so we'll take a look at this now. You'll just need your standard two Allen keys that come with the kit. And that's about the height of it. So before you start, you're going to want to make sure you have your filament cut on both sides. The filament cutters on these work differently to the likes of the P1S and the A1 in that normally when you push in the lever, the blade pushes in this way and cuts the filament. But on the H2D, the blade is actually pulled from the bottom. So what it's doing is the filament passes through the blade, the blade pulls across like this and cuts the filament. So in this case here, when I push this one in, it should cut through the side of this. So I'm going to pull this one out for now because it's not actually connected up. like so but this here is the little connector that feeds the filament directly down into the nozzle so i'll show where this is all jammed up so you're going to need your large allen key Up the screw here on the right hand side it's fairly handy once you have the filament removed to do all this you've got these three small screws those three out, we want to remove the two screws that hold in the cutter arms. This one and this one here. And they're spring loaded so just be careful they don't go flying when you take them out. And you see there's how the filament passes through up here in the center. So as the lever operates like this, it's basically pulling this way to cut through the filament. So again, do the repeat for the one on the left. Now this isn't going to be a very in-depth dis dismantling of the extruder because I don't need to and I don't want to but this should cover most of your issues if you get a jam in here. So with those two out, this should slip out like so. And again, you can see your color, it just slips into a groove. You want to catch this piece here and it should wiggle free now. You might want to just lift up on this guy here. Like so. And here you can see inside where this all operates. So here we have a better view of this setup and how it works. 
this here, if we flip it around, you can see this is the metal tube that directs the filament down from the extruder to the nozzle, like so. And in my situation, this had gotten jammed up here. So now there was a gap of, we'd say 15 mil between the bottom of this and the top of the nozzle, which allowed this all this freedom to move around. So if I looked in here and through this little hole, hard to see that, there you go. Through the little hole, you could see that there was plastic. So little bits of filament had jammed up inside the hole. So all I did was got a fresh piece of filament and poked it through from top and bottom until I got all the little shards that were stuck in it out. Once they were out and that was clean, I just made sure that this was operating freely. And once it was done, I was happy enough. Moved on. This was stuck on this side, it's causing my jam on the other side. It was essentially like that when I took it apart. Again, not the hardest thing in the, in the world to fix. All you have to do is just make sure it's clear, both holes are free, and that this is operating freely. Once you're happy, reassemble. So reassembly is literally just the reversal of what we've just done. You want to get your little cover, push this guy up, or you can remove the nozzle, whichever is easiest. And make sure he's up out of the way. And once he's up, they should slide back in fairly easily, back into position. And you want to start with, just go to those three screws for the main plate. That leaves you with one small screw with a large flat top on it and it goes in just here again you can make sure that this is operating freely and it is we want to reinstall our two cut arms so making sure this is sitting down where it should be they should just slide straight in, just here. And there's no lining up, it just slides straight in. Once it's in, line up your bolt hole, install your bolts. And screw it into position. Just ensure it's working as it should be and repeat them for the left hand side. That's as simple as that. I didn't show this main cover coming off, but it's literally just pushes on. So when you want to take it off, catch it at the top, pinch it left and right, and pull and it'll come off. So I don't usually have it on most of the time anyway. That's really it. Uh, any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll try and help if I can, but it's a fairly simple setup. If I have any further issues, I'm going to take this part completely and show exactly how all this works. But for now, it's working okay. I don't really want tampering with it too much um, when there's no need. So, anyway, hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.